Yeah, I mean, I just really think when it comes to, like, you know, ideas or, like, you know, values of people, it's all about intention. Mm. So it's like, whatever way somebody feels about something, it's like, what were you intending? Like, mm -hmm. did you make that decision out of envy? Yeah. You know, and it's like, when you make a decision based off that, like, that's the root of all evil. Mm. That's, that's, the, yeah. that's where the issue is. Mm. It's not what you did, it's the intention. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? Are you ready? Yo, what up, what up? It's your boy Rabino. And this DJ Erm in the building. And you listen to the Up and Up podcast. Yeah. Wait, what are we doing? I don't know, just listen. Yes, 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 yes. Welcome, welcome, welcome. What it do, what it do. Ladies and gentlemen, you're tuning to the Up and Up podcast. I'm your host, Rabino. And I'm DJ Erm, man. What's good, boss? I'm good, man. You good? Yeah. Feeling good? Yeah, what about you? I'm doing well, man. I'm doing well. Blessed day. What's today? Friday? Yeah. I don't even know, man. I'm losing track. Yeah, I'm losing yeah. track. Today was a long day, man. <laughs> Today was definitely a long day. Um, but shout out to all of you guys listening. This, if you, if this is your first time tuning in, this is the Up and Up podcast. It's the podcast where we're focused on cultivating culture, right? Mm -hmm. Right? Nothing more, yep. nothing less, right? Yep, yep. Come on. Um, you know, this is a platform where we, we definitely want to tap in with individuals, groups, movements, people who are out here carving lanes, right? Mm -hmm. Occupying spaces, right? Yeah. Being representation in spaces that are needed, mm -hmm. right? And, and just, you know, making ways, man. Disrupting the culture. All the way. Right? Yeah. <laughs> um, and again, I'll always want to make sure we take some time to shout out the consistent supporters, listeners, viewers, right? Uh, thank you guys again for all the all the energy, all the encouragement you're giving us, mm -hmm. not just us as a team and as a platform, but also the guests that we have on this show, right? Yeah. Make sure y'all tap in with them for sure. Yeah. Right? For real. Make, for make real friends though. with them, right? Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, and if you guys want to continue supporting the podcast, you know what to do. You can make you can find all the episodes on YouTube, SoundCloud, iTunes, and Spotify. Uh, just make sure to rate, review, subscribe. I right? like it Show too. Some love. Yeah. Right. I love the reviews, man. Give us some feedback. I love to get some insight on how you guys are, um, you know, either impacted or affected by these episodes and these stories. Right. Mm -hmm. It's always good to get some insight. Um, also, make sure to follow us if you're not already. Um, on all social media platforms at underscore the up and up, right? Yeah. Got a lot of great things coming for the year. We do. To close off the we year, do. right? Yeah. yeah, man. Let's just keep it on the hush <laughs> for right now. Um, yeah, outside of that, anything else, Aaron? Nah, man. You good? Yeah. No announcements from you? You good? <laughs> nah. I think you I think you covered it, bro. Okay, okay, cool. Um, so for those of you first time listeners, to give you some insight, this is the show where we essentially pull the curtain back, right? Mm -hmm. uh, provide context to the success, to the grind, right? Show people how it's done. Um, and you know, today's guest, I would say is definitely uh, a great representation in terms of, uh, what it means to, you know, invest in yourself, right. Um, yeah. in, in many different ways, right. Not just, uh, financially, but even, you know, whether it's through knowledge, through, through spirit and, mm -hmm. and not only that, but just through demonstration. Right. Yeah. Um, I would say he's a young brother who's definitely keeping everything he's doing on the up and up for sure. Right. Obviously he wouldn't be in the building with us. Right. Mm -hmm. Brought his boys with him too, man. Shout out to, yeah. him. Shout out to everybody here, man. Yeah. Hope yeah. Good, man. Um, and also, just to give you some insight on the work the brother's doing, he is the founder and owner of Edelwetter brand. Um, it's a lifestyle brand as well as a clothing brand. Um, definitely out here, make some waves out here in the city, right? Mm -hmm. And it's going to continue to grow. Um, and again, he's just a young brother out here trying to carve, carve a lane, right? Mm -hmm. and, and we definitely support that. Um, our guest is none other than the coach cultivator himself, Tawelda Mahari Abraha. Can we get a round of applause for my brother? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. How you doing, boss? I can't complain, but I'm breathing. Yeah? Feel me? Damn, I love that answer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I'll take for a real. deep breath one time. Man. <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool, cool. Thank you for coming to the show, bro. Anytime, bro. I appreciate the opportunity. Yeah, man. Um, definitely. Uh, Erm was actually, well, actually, uh, Abdi, team member of ours, was the one who put me on to uh, the brand and everything you're doing. And then Erm, obviously, like, he was just pumping it, too. So um, glad to have you here, man. Definitely. For sure, definitely. Man. And so we usually start the show off with a quote of the day. Mm -hmm. Right, I'm sure you're probably familiar. Um, so what you got? <laughs> what you got? All right, man. What you so got, man? Quote, quote man. Quote of man. the day today is your brand is your name. Basically, a lot of people don't know that they need to build their brand. Your brand is what keeps you moving. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Who said that? Meek. Mm. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Shout out Meek okay. Mill. Facts. Champion. <laughs> Hell yeah! Run that back, man. Yeah, Shout yeah. out Meek Mill. That's a that's a dope quote. For yes, sure. Sir. So uh, the quote is your brand is your name. Basically. A lot of people don't know that they need to build their brand. Your brand is what keeps you moving. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's powerful, man. Mm -hmm. I feel like branding is branding is a lot, uh, discussed a lot, you know. But I think sometimes people need to like really 
understand what it means, right? In, yeah. In, in the grand scheme of things, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and obviously the quote are dope they get the conversation started but we also try to do stuff that ties into our guest story Definitely. right um, and with everything you're doing with Edelwetter and the brand you're building mm-hmm. and have been building over some time now um, I, we do also want to kind of take it back a little bit as well um, so tell the people a little bit about where, you know kind of like your upbringing where did you grow up uh, so like the neighborhood I grew up in you know it's Weissner I, le- oh. I left when it was like like 2005 so I was like 11 or 12 okay um, that's like the neighborhood I most like identify with Um, you know, I went to Evergreen High School, man, it was just thinking about it, you know, in terms of like the spaces that I'm in now, it's definitely a different experience, Mm. you know, like I constantly feel like I'm representing White Center with like Mm. every conversation, Mm -hmm. every move. Um, and that's really the reason why I just be reading, like always trying to like gain as many contexts as I can, like Mm -hmm. whether that comes from like music, like DJ Premier, like seeing what he did on like Illmatic Mm -hmm. and like. From there, like, you know, in terms of, like, what I got from my parents, like, my pops, my moms, my mm-hmm. little brother. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's dope. Mm-hmm. That's, That's dope. Cool. White Center, yeah, we, we also had um, Justin, uh, Justin Cox on the show. Or uh, words to my man. Yeah, 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 definitely. He's a definitely, definitely a uh, White Center representative for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, That's dope, though, man. Um, And in terms of kind of, like, what it was like growing up out there. Um, if you can kind of give some insight on that, I'm kind of curious because I feel like everybody has their own ex- even like even if, if you grew up in the same area as someone, you still have a different experience, right? De- definitely, definitely. What was it kind? Of, what was it like for you? If you can explain that, you know, I would definitely say it was complex. Mm. Like in terms of like who like I was in terms of my own like identity, right? Like because mm-hmm. you know, growing up like from kindergarten to second grade, I was in <coughs> private school. Mm-hmm. So it's just like I was the only kid, like the only black kid, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And like on top of that being a return. Mm-hmm. Like the fact that like I had to deal with all that and like like I was talking about even like nowadays, like I constantly feel like I'm representing everybody from back home. Mm-hmm. It's like with every single move that I make, like like if I make a mistake, I'm costing like my life almost. Mm-hmm. Like it, it hurts, you know what I mean? But at the end of the day, you know, it's ups and downs of a real nigga, you know. So mm-hmm. yeah, I feel yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. For sure. So what was some of like your uh early like influences or interests like growing up like what was you like into i mean the first thing that came to mind was uh, uh 2001 finals with ai and kobe oh, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah legendary that's, yeah facts yeah. facts yeah thinking about that you know it was just like a pivotal moment in my life because like ai was that guy like always seeing his kicks everywhere in the hood like mm-hmm. it was like well yeah 2001 so mm-hmm. i really like that but then just seeing kobe like i don't even want to think about that like what the took over and just seeing that like yeah. that's kind of like why i've always ran with that like kobe 8 persona fight mm. like i just feel like a young kobe right now like i just i have to finish the game i feel that it don't mm-hmm. matter you know what yeah. i mean it's yeah. my favorite basketball player that's my favorite player yeah. too <laughs> <laughs> well, like, sure. so I was, I was like i was just letting go keep going yeah. Let's yeah. Go. Let's yeah. 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 come on man. we're that. taking the shit man come yeah on. no that's like, dope you know though man that's dope that um no nah, i feel like the, i feel like i don't know man i just feel like the, that era was like really inspiring to see you know um because i think i think we when we grew up like whether it was the rappers whether it was the athletes it was like we really kind of just appreciated them for the game you know like like nowadays it's social media so there's a lot of other bullshit that's surrounding these people that Mm -hmm. are famous or you know are in those spaces but back then it was like you know like i didn't really know a lot about what was going on you know Mm -hmm. unless they reported it outside of that i just Mm -hmm. appreciated the game and what they were doing on the court right or on stage or whatever the case is so um, I guess, um, I guess I want to kind of get to now, like, you know, obviously as you're getting older and you're growing up and you're starting to kind of carve like who you want to be, mm-hmm. um, what was like, what was that thing that kind of like led you more into, I guess, more of a creative mind? Um, cause I would, I would assume that's, you know, uh, how you would describe your approach. No, nah, definitely. Um, when it comes to being creative, I think it was more so like an act of like rebellion. Mm. It's really because, like, you know, being in school for damn near my whole life, like, from kindergarten to now, I've never left school. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm talking about from high school to my undergrad to get my master's now. Like, mm-hmm. I never took that break. And it's just, like, music or any kind of, like, aspect of design. Like, I just felt like it was just, like, my form of just, like, being myself. Mm-hmm. Being in these classrooms, like, especially now, like, the transfer from being, like, an American ethnic studies major in undergrad, which is, like, you know, social studies. You know, you see football players. You see everybody from everywhere. You know, you can't really predict what they're going to look like. And then going to the same school, but being in the engineering department mm. and being in that space and kind of, like, representing everybody, like I was saying earlier, like, man, it's, it's different, bro. Yeah. What did you, what'd you, uh, what'd you end up going for in your undergrad? 
Uh, so my undergrad was in American Ethnic Studies. Okay. Uh, I intended to be a cardiologist when I first came. Mm. Uh, I had an internship at Swedish, and it was just, I realized I did not want to do it. But <laughs> to be in that hospital, you know, it's like the same time. Like, I was just like, I want to be like Kanye, if you want to be completely honest. Like, that early influence was just like, bro, just seeing what he did, like, while I was a sophomore in high school, I'll never forget. Yeah. Like, that whole rollout with Dark Fantasy, mm -hmm. the runaway, like, full-length film. Like, yeah. bro, I just seen that, I was like... If I could literally be on the team to do something that big, yeah, mm -hmm. shh, but I made it. It was like you wanted to kind of make your own mark, right? Like, definitely. I feel like, definitely. I mean, when you talk about Connie, you're talking about someone who's like always pushing the envelope, like oh, trying sure. to do something that everybody else isn't doing. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, I could feel that. So, so what's it like um, being in school, like you know, get, trying to get your master's and everything like that, and then starting your brand on the side? Bro, there's not one word on the planet that can explain how I be feeling every day, bro. I promise you, like, I mean, like, just like, you know, R.P. our brother Nipsey, you know, but just seeing what he did and, like, going against the grain in terms of, like, you know, he got locked. He was on the run when he got his first his first uh, deal with, I forgot the record. Epic Records? Yeah, mm -hmm. Epic, yeah. right? It was Epic. I was going to say Columbia, but I knew that was wrong. But just, like, seeing that, like, he's just, like, you know, all money in. Mm -hmm. It don't matter, like, every single day, like, it's, like, I have to, I treat up, like, everything that I do, like, a 9 to 5. Every Sunday, I have to wake up, mm -hmm. 8.30, do what I got to do. Got a little morning ritual, you know? Mm -hmm. And then from there, I just got to be grinding. Like, sometimes I'll spend four hours on Illustrator, mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. looking up fonts. And then the next, like, two hours, I'm spinning. Mm -hmm. So it's, like, going back and forth between that. But then I have a homework assignment do I eat. Mm -hmm. So it's, like, dealing with all that. Plus, my mom's just beefing because, you know, something's wrong with her Bank of America. Yeah, yeah. So I'm just, like, all of that plus, like, you know, my personal life. So yeah. it's, like, having to deal with all that, you know, is... I think rewarding, you know, but it's definitely challenging, especially being, like, 24 years yeah, old and, yeah. like, you know, I don't really have – I definitely have mentors, but I can't say, like, there's one person I can call and be like, yo, what do I do now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was curious. I was – and I'm glad you brought that up, that, like, the, the concept of having a mentor, right? Because mm -hmm. um, I think a lot of people now are trying to carve their lanes, right? They're trying to jump into whether it's entrepreneurship, whether, whatever it is, they want to create something out of nothing, right? Um, for you, when it came to creating Edelwetter and creating your brand – Obviously, you're committed to, to the academic grind, right? Mm -hmm. But, um, like, me personally, just understanding what it takes to just start something, right? Take something as an idea from your head and bringing it to life. It is a lot of work. So, um, in those moments when you were first starting out, like, did you have people that you consulted with or asked for help in those situations? Or did you just try to take it all on your own? So, uh, it, it's crazy. I'm going to just, like, keep on going back to certain people in certain moments. So, mm -hmm. it's just, like, seeing what Kobe did, you know, in terms of, like, how he became great mm -hmm. and like how he said he would study magic he would study michael like and just see their moves and literally replicate it mm -hmm. and like you know like my guy you know shout out my guy you know the servant of peace you know mm -hmm. so it's still like artist you know so i've seen that copied him in my own mm -hmm. so it's like i just study what pharrell did mm. study what nigo did mm. you know what i mean just seeing what easy did and where easy supply is now like it's about to be he's about to be a billionaire with his own company mm -hmm. and that's that's all i need in terms of inspiration it's like mm. i'm tired of being told what to do i'm tired of like People telling me I need to do that or I should go in this direction yeah. or I shouldn't make a certain move. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, I, I don't I don't embody that. Like, I personify, like, whatever it takes. Like, say, like, the homie's mad at me or something. Like, it don't matter, bro. At the end of the day, like, I'm trying to get this money. Yeah. I want to make sure my mom's good. I'm trying to make sure my pops is good. You yeah. Know? Like, being the oldest is definitely, it's, it's huge, bro. Yeah. I think that's probably, like, one of the biggest, like, motivations and, like, inspirations every single day. Got you. I feel you. Yeah. So, um, what's, uh, well, jumping into the brand. So, what is Edelwetter? How would you explain it? Man, uh, Edelwetter is it, the hashtag, or not the hashtag, it's my Instagram handle, right? Mm -hmm. So, Edelwet, for people who don't know, uh, Edelwet is just told the backwards. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I did that just, you know, it was like the whole idea of like a Finsta. Mm -hmm. uh, for those who don't know, you know, a Finsta is a fake Insta, it's kind of like a burner account. Uh, and I just did that because it's just, like, it's literally, like, another form of rebellion. Like, mm. I'm tired of, like, going on, like, Instagram and people, like, treating it like a portfolio. And it's, like, extra serious. You know, like Kanye said, like, he hates Instagram for a reason. Mm. Mm -hmm. And it's, like, bro, I don't like the feeling of, like, having to act a certain way in mm. any space. So yeah. it's just, like, I did that. And, like, I took it and I just made, like, you know, I was posting, like, funny pictures or pictures I didn't really care about. Yeah. Um, but, like, eventually I got offered an unpaid internship. You know, I'm a grad student, so it's like 
and user experience, like, experience is everything. Yeah, you know? yeah, 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 for sure. So it's just, like, with that motivation, I was just like, you know what? Like, I got to take things seriously. I got to put matters into my own hands. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's how, oh, shit. That's how uh, the T-shirts came about, you know. Mm. So. I'm curious, too. Um, and, and, yeah, I, I, love, I love the shirt. It, like, because, uh, you know, Abdi had it on. That was the first time I actually was exposed to it and saw it. Mm-hmm. And it was like, even if I didn't ask him about it, I was definitely paying attention to it, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, even whether it's through the tie-dye color scheme or whatever the case is. So, um, like, when it came to, like, creating your logo and being comfortable with it and putting it out, because I know that's that's a thing for a lot of people. Like, they go back and forth in their own heads about, mm-hmm. oh, man, I don't think this logo is right. I don't think this logo is oh, ready yeah, yet. What advice do you have for people who are creating their companies or their brands and they're creating that aspect of it? Like, what advice do you have for people who are trying to just figure out how to get that out? Or is it just like, fuck it, I don't care, put it out? I would say um, try your best to not be afraid of being afraid. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, yeah, but I took a risk. Like, we were talking about it before we got on camera. Like, mm-hmm. that when I look at a T-shirt nowadays, like, definitely I appreciate it. Like, there's definitely moments where I'm like, oh, man, that's a really cool T-shirt. Yeah. But most of the time I'm looking at it, I'm like, I could have done this better. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm taking design classes now, like visual like visual communication, talking about, like, information, information hierarchy, uh, like just visual hierarchy, like topography and everything. And it's mm-hmm. just like, in terms of like a design space, I'm just like, I wish I didn't do this in certain, in certain moments. But at the end of the day, you know, I'm, I'm proud of myself for what I did. Yeah. Uh, I mean, like, you know, my brother in the room, you know, Aaron and Carlos, like yeah. these guys were there the day of, mm. you know. It's important. <laughs> Bro, like. You're, you're a very reflective person, which is dope. Because I think a lot of yeah. people like don't understand the power of reflection bro like you need to be reflective you know what i mean Mm -hmm. always man to know where you're going and to continue moving forward and that's love and that man thanks for the love uh when it comes to the t-shirt and just get me on here bro yeah 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 yeah, appreciate y'all yeah for y'all are doing numbers y'all are stupid fly like for real for real i genuinely like find so much inspiration just going on your guys' page like the amount of episodes you guys have dropped yeah it's inspirational yeah Yeah, i I think i think it's just a it's just like you have to kind of um just keep grinding, bro. Like, you know, like, keep demonstrating, bro. Like, whether mm-hmm. it is. Because there's a lot of people doing stuff that I'll never be able to do. Mm-hmm. But that doesn't mean I'm not going to pay attention and watch, you know. Because, mm-hmm. like, I just like seeing people operate in their space and what they do, you know. And you got to support it. You have to. Definitely. Mm-hmm. Just because you ain't rocking with it. Just because you're not interested in that specific industry, you know. You've never done anything in that industry. Doesn't mean you can't support someone in that industry, right? Definitely. So, yeah, I, yeah, I rock with that. Yeah. And yeah. I th- on my phone. No, ahead. no, go ahead. Go ahead, bro. Yeah. I mean, I just really think when it comes to, like, you know, ideas or, like, you know, values of people, it's all about intention. Mm. So, it's like, whatever way somebody feels about something, it's like, what were you intended? Like, mm-hmm. did you make that decision out of envy? Yeah. You know, and it's like, when you make a decision based off that, like, that's the root of all evil. Mm. That's, that's, the, yeah. that's where the issue is. Mm. It's not what you did. It's the intention. That's big. I feel you. That's real. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, first off, I want to say the logo is hella clean. Uh, yeah, I fuck with the logo. Yeah, word to my man, Steven. You know, he's, yeah. my, he's my boy in my grad program. Uh, he was just messing around. Like, he just made it. He didn't even take it, like, super serious. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, in the book that, you know, I was talking about earlier, was to, like, artists, like, those are the moments I feel like things are coming out, like, the dopest. Yeah. Like, stop thinking about it too hard. Yeah, yeah. Just let it go and yeah. just try something, Kinda like, bro. Like, yeah, just let, let it be it random, you know? Yeah, I feel you. So what are, like, some of the... Uh, some of the lessons you learned so far, starting a brand and like trying to you know manage it, grow it. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think it's just the reacher in me where it's like I feel like I'm a Superman or something. Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like the alter ego of being a dolphin like just takes over sometimes, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. So what I would definitely say is uh, be able to delegate. You know, if you're if you're willing to be a CEO or if you want to be a CEO, be able to delegate. Mm-hmm. Have a strong team, people you can depend on. Yeah. Um, always make sure you remember your intention, like I was saying earlier. Yeah. You know, always try your best. You know, there's definitely going to, like, all days are not going to be your best days. Mm-hmm. You know, you're going to have a lot of days where you wake up, you don't want to do it. Mm-hmm. You know, like, you're just like, man, I'm just trying to kick it with me. Yeah. You know, um, and just be ready for a lot of sacrifices. Yeah. Like, those Saturday nights where you want to go out, like, you know, I'll squeeze it in, don't don't get me wrong, but it comes with a sacrifice of sleep. Yeah. yeah. Like, I'm 24, and I'm just like, bro, like, once school's over, like, I'm hitting the reset button and like I'm about to live a boring life. Like mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I can't do this anymore. Like yeah. it's like school, work, you know, trying to build this company, you know, being a DJ. Yeah. And just trying to be a human in general, you know, being a black man, all these faces, like Yeah. It's definitely not easy. Yeah. But I think you gotta acknowledge that too. You know what I mean? I think some like 
I always say some, sometimes I'll just catch myself. I'm like, man, you need to slow down, bro. For you sure. just like chill out, like you know, because mm-hmm. like you're not. We're all we're just human at the same time, you know. So Definitely. you gotta you gotta kind of keep it real, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and when you're trying to balance a lot of different things, uh, I, I'm always curious about this because, you know, you might be good at multiple things, right? Mm-hmm. And at the same time, you gotta understand like we only have but so much time and energy to put towards things, right? Definitely. So do you are you really strict on how you like? structure your energy distribution when it comes to Edelwetter as well as your academic pursuit? Or is it just kind of like in spur of the moment, like, I'm going to get the, I'm going to put, the, I'm going to get this homework assignment done when I need to, and I'm going to get this done when I need to. Is, I'm going to give you a hundred. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's the ladder. Yeah, it's the ladder. It's the Yeah, it's the ladder. That's what I thought too, yeah. Yeah, because it's just like, I love school, don't get me wrong, you know, I love school a lot. <laughs> um, but it's just like, you know, I feel like in terms of like value or like what I really, really want to do is like what I'm doing. Like, it's like, I spend hours, bro. I'm talking about hours searching, like, how I should space a letter out. Like, That's intention, though. Bro, it's tough. Like, it's, like, understanding, like, creative cloud, like, you know, for any designer or anybody. Like, mm-hmm. Illustrator, Photoshop, like, all of these things. Like, man, it's a crazy learning curve. And even when you feel like you got it, mm-hmm. you probably don't. If you know everything, you know you don't know nothing. Yeah. No, I feel yeah. that. What are, what are, like, some uh, some of the strategies you use to, like, get over that? You know, like, some people might be working on something so long mm-hmm. they kind of just need to walk away for a minute and yeah. then come yeah. back you know and sometimes that helps people so what are like some of the ways you like get over that i ain't gonna lie i feel like i'd be abusing the homies lines you know what i'm saying like i'll be yeah. facetiming the homies out of nowhere like this guy carlos i'm calling him 24 7 yeah i probably have like eight phone calls with this guy on average a day so it's just like bro like i need that like yeah i'm going from working like let's say eight to five right i'm doing something i got class from six to ten and then I got to go open at the job tomorrow. Mm-hmm. That's literally what I did today. Like, mm-hmm. And it's just like trying to abide by that with everything going on in my personal life. Like, yeah. how, I'm, I'm not a god, bro. I'm just one guy. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or to Frank. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, curi- I'm curious, too. Um, what's your? I want to know what your philosophy is on this. Because like, th- uh, we've had some guests on here. And I, I like to ask this question about, are you open about discussing like kind of like your ideas and, and vision to people? Or are you more of just like, I'm going to just kind of just keep it to myself and just do the work because I, I think there's benefit in either one i think it's just based on who you are mm-hmm. some people are just like super secretive and just that's just how they operate some people are like man i don't care who it is i gotta get the word out right so how do you kind of get the how do you plan on like kind of getting the word out with edelweather do you want to just to, to do it through the work through the brand or do you are, are you like a <laughs> are you a talker too mm. i mean i really think it depends on like what i'm releasing how i'm feeling about it okay. the time man um I mean, I'm a Libra, so it's like I'm an air sign. Like I'm I, don't know, I don't know shit about horoscopes, bro. Man, you gotta tap in. If there's, <laughs> if there's one one piece oh, yeah. of advice I got for the viewers, tap into your horoscope sign. <laughs> like, please do. But I'm telling you, right. it's gonna explain a lot. I mean, like, okay. obviously, you know, it's a reference. You know, it's not a Bible or nothing. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Definitely, like, keep it tuned. But like, being a Libra, you know, I'm I have the same birthday as Ti. Okay. Same birthday as Charles Gambino, and you can like, those are like two weirdly different people, and that's just like a Libra. Like Libras are all about balance. Mm. You know what I mean? So I, I think like. Me being open and just like letting people know, like I keep a small circle of people mm-hmm. that's like constantly know what I'm doing. Because yeah. like I feel like once I keep ideas to myself and like you know it just is an idea, it's mm-hmm. nothing more than that. But it's like once I bring it to people and they give me a response, like it kind of paints a picture for me yeah. in terms of like what direction I want to. It do. gets real. I, that's why I tell people like sometimes you got you have an idea in your head and it's like mm-hmm. it's just it's just like in the sky. You know what I mean? Definitely. Like you could see it, you could visualize it, but you haven't really brought it into this world yet. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right, like when you speak about it, it becomes real, right? And when yep. it becomes real, you start realizing, oh shit, I gotta execute this, this, and this. And then the idea stops stops becoming all dreamy. It starts to become more realistic. So mm-hmm. I think, I just think people need to find that balance, like you said, right? Don't just be dreaming all day, bro. No, like, sure. bring, write it down. Yeah, write it down. Yeah, bring that, shit, bring that balloon down, bro. Like, yeah. tie that shit down. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I don't know if that metaphor made sense, but. You know, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. <laughs> That's good. The message got across. Yeah. So, what was that first, um, that first sale like for you? When when someone said, oh, "I'm willing to pay money," and, it, and maybe it wasn't someone like when you're close homies or nothing like that. Someone you probably didn't expect. When someone made that first purchase, um, how'd that feel? Man, bro, it's crazy. Like, uh, so it was like basically two instances in terms of like what happened with the first Edelt. So, I saw my cousin. I was just over here chilling in the youth district. Um, and he just came up to me, and I was telling him about the T-shirts, and, like, I had been posting, like, lists on Instagram in terms of, like, a number from 1 to 100. I mean, things didn't really go out. Like, you know, this is another thing in terms of advice. It's just, like, 
don't bank on people's promises when it comes to things. Yeah. Like you have to bring like say I promise you something. Yeah. I'm not gonna bank on Erm's promise. Yeah. yeah I gotta mm-hmm. bank on my own. You yeah, know. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Um, but that's you know that's a whole another conversation. But uh, in terms of that, like he gave me um, so I was selling the t-shirts when I had them for fifty bucks, and I hadn't set like a price at the point. Like I was still discussing with the homies, but he just gave me forty. Mm-hmm. He's like, just keep it if it's any more, any less. Let me know. He didn't yeah. even know what it was gonna look like. He yeah. literally was just like, I just have to support you. Um, and I definitely like I've. Man, bro, like, that moment, just even thinking about it right now, I don't feel like I think about that time enough. Mm. I'm so caught up in my everyday life that I don't think about, like, that feeling. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, having the 220s in my pocket. Like, I remember what time it was, like, 8-ish or something. Like, yeah. that feeling was everything. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I mean, in terms of, like, the first Edel T, like, that was the first purchase. But when I was with Aaron and Carlos and all the homies, um, right when I brought out the box, like, none of us had tried the T-shirts on and there was this um, homeless guy who just, you know, we were all, like, holding up the T-shirts. I was getting an Instagram video. Yeah. And then he just see me, and he was just like, yo, brother, like, yo, those shirts are dope. Like, who's making those shirts, you know? And, like, we had the conversation. I remember posting on Instagram, and, like, he just wanted to support it. And, bro, I gave it to him for free. Mm-hmm. He was the first person I have, like, physically own a Edel T. Damn. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. That was a great moment. I mean, Aaron <laughs> was definitely, like, one of the biggest reasons why I did Like, he's... Like, yo, you want a t-shirt type thing? Yeah. I mean, obviously, you know, I made it, you know, I paid for it and for everything. For sure, for sure, yeah. yeah. Uh, but their efforts was everything, you know, and their opinions are everything to me. So it's yeah. just like, you know, hearing that and just like my own motivation, I just gave it to them. I love it. I love it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, those stories dope. matter, yeah. Yeah, Those for stories real. definitely matter, man. Definitely. And, and sometimes it's like, it's just like, it's it's in there, you know, and sometimes you just got to keep, you know, you got to bring it out. You got to tap into mm-hmm. it sometimes. Definitely. I love so, that. How do, you, how do you go about like a... How do you approach, like, designing? Like, before you design a shirt or, like, have a vision for a shirt, like, what's the process? Watch some Kobe videos. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, bro. That's really one of my biggest inspirations every time. I'm like, bro, what should yeah, I we'll get? Definitely water get water or the monster? I'm like, damn, Kobe would probably guy. go with the water. Like, you know, I'll get the water there. That's how I get inspired. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Why not? But um, for me, I mean, in terms of, like, certain things uh, that I've been doing lately, uh, I look, like, I say a piece like usually I'd be looking at a lot of easy supply, in terms of like you know older pieces like San Pablo, mm-hmm. Jesus, like those eras were probably I mean every era is my favorite but like yeah. those like in terms of topography design everything yeah they're definitely biggest blunt like my biggest inspirations yeah. um so yeah that's really that's really how I do it like I legitimately like have the picture in Illustrator, have my artboard right under it, and then like gauge some inspirations ways still like artists you know yeah yeah yeah. yeah. So, I'm also curious, too. Um, I was thinking about this because I feel like, I don't know, man. I just feel like the era we're in now, it's 2019. A mm. lot of shit has been done, right? A lot of things have been done already. So it's like sometimes you might feel like your market is saturated. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And, like, no matter what it is you're doing, what industry you're in, it, like, it's you're not the first, right? Mm-hmm. I don't care who you think you are. <laughs> you know, you're probably not the first. Definitely. So um, what's how, how important is your why? I, I want you to kind of talk about that because I think, like, even I can speak for myself as, like, like I know the market I'm in is saturated, but at the same time, mm-hmm. when you know your why, it, like all that shit doesn't matter, right? Mm-hmm. Exactly. Um, can you talk about that? Like how important that is? I think your why literally is everything. Mm. Like if you don't know what your why is, I don't think you should be doing what you're doing. Mm. And I mean, as like hard as it is to hear, like I think that's the cold hard truth. So it's like for me in terms of like what do I want to do with DJ and design, and it's like going back to like my fifth year when I was a senior mm-hmm. like it's being inclusive mm-hmm. like every experience that I've had in my life like I want to at least ha- let people have the same opportunity to either make the choice that they want to do or they don't mm-hmm. so it's like with everything that I do like say it's music being a DJ like I want you to experience the music that I love mm-hmm. the way that I love it mm-hmm. yeah. you know or I'll play something that you love the yeah. way you love it yeah, yeah. you know what I mean and that's really my biggest why and just like making sure I'm just bringing opportunities to people who usually don't get them Mm. You know, speaking like, you know, That's speaking big. for the silenced, you know, That's working big. for the marginalized. So. That's big, yeah. bro. Mm-hmm. I love that, man. It's Thanks. important, man. Definitely. As, well, as actually, a, I got a question for y'all, though. What's your guys' why? Man, I mean, if you look at the brand, I mean, cultivating culture, right? Mm-hmm. But, um, I mean, there's a lot that goes into what we do. Um, I think the goal, essentially, really more so is to um, reclaim narratives, bro. Mm-hmm. You know, and in doing that, that'll allow us to kind of unify more as Definitely. a culture, you know, and. Mm-hmm. Um, I think I think sometimes sometimes you just don't see enough of yourself where you need to be seen, you know, and 
just seeing yourself in certain spaces will inspire you to do your own thing. So, thousand mm-hmm. percent. Yeah, I feel like it's like a it's a legacy type thing. Mm-hmm. Like even like you know, long after we're all gone and stuff like that, we could really cultivate a culture of like support and like like mm-hmm. he was saying, yeah. pushing the right narratives. You yeah. know, because like imagine like back in the day when we watch TV. And it was just so limited, but we're going to believe anything that comes on that TV. Yeah, like yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, all that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So yeah. it's like now we're just pretty much trying to leave a legacy of like telling the stories the right way and mm-hmm. also like promoting like support and everything. Yeah. Because like uh, that's just going to help everybody win, you know? So, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. yeah I just, I, I'm glad you asked that too because it's kind of weird. Like I was just thinking about that. Like, like you know, like growing up, especially growing up a retrain, mm-hmm. whether you're first generation, like your parents always want you to either go to doctor, mm-hmm. lawyer engineer route you know and i'm like man shit i'll see us in these spaces when i'm watching this television mom dad you know what i'm saying so what are you telling me like you know what i mean yeah that's a whole story in itself like this is like being east african and being a first generation like dog like how complex your identity can be like yeah bro you could be a reacher and you could be ethiopian like you know no matter what you know what i mean it's it's tough bro it's layered and complex Mm -hmm. you know what i mean being like you know a reacher in these spaces yeah like how do i explain to somebody who barely hangs out with black people that i'm reaching yeah. Like, how do I tell you, okay, what's the difference between a rich and Ethiopia? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's just tough, bro. Yeah. But that's that. I think that's where that's what matters when it comes to using your voice, you know? Like, mm-hmm. you got to speak, bro. You got to use your voice. You got to use your platform in any way you can, right? Mm-hmm. Whether vocally, through demonstration, whatever it is you're doing, right? Definitely. That's, like, the legacy part, right? Like, 1,000%. Branding's important, right? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Oh, everything. Like, people die. Everything. Brands brands don't die. I, I, that's yeah, my point. yeah. Brands mm-hmm. don't die. Yeah. Like, they might take a nap. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, look at champion, bro. Yeah. Look at champion. What I tell you, bro? Look at champion. Champion, exactly, right? Crazy. He was trying. He was trying to discredit my whatever. No. What we doing? Champion's <laughs> fly. Champion's definitely fly. Yeah. No. 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 Yeah. Oh. For sure. For sure. But yeah, man. Um. All right, well, I also want to kind of give you a chance to, uh, when we have guests up here, we also give our guests a chance to like just cast anything that you got coming on the horizon, like mm-hmm. any announcements. Obviously, I'm sure more more merch right, is right. coming, right? Definitely. Yeah. Um, definitely. What can people be looking forward to, I guess, down the line? Yeah, man. Uh, we got a lot of exciting things, you know, on the way. Mm-hmm. Uh, definitely going to be hosting some sort of holiday party. Okay. Uh, trying to decide the date in terms of, like, if I want to do it in December or November. I'm leaning towards December uh, in okay. terms of, like, the date just because uh, it gives me more time. Yeah. And I'm trying to do it big. I'm not going to lie. Like, all the things I talked about, um, you know, something that I, like, promoted originally, like, with Edel, you know, I'm not going to say on camera, you know, you guys going to see it if you guys are there yeah, yeah. or on Instagram either or, you know, um, that's going to be that, you know, definitely more merch on the way. Yeah. You know, definitely trying to get my DJ thing going. Are you DJing long. the party that you're throwing? Always. <laughs> always, <laughs> like always bro. Yeah. Man, you know, because it's it. like, you know, I've been on Oxcord, like, all over Oxcord. You're the Oxcord where, God? Yeah, I'm okay. not going to lie. Where's my guy, Matt? I was going to say it. I was going to say I'm Oxcord Lord, but that's his nickname. Oxcord Lord. <laughs> but I was like, I ain't going to do that like to you. That hey, Matt. That's Matt dope. Barrett, you know my, you my dog, bro. You know how much I love you, bro. I ain't take it, bro. That's a, I like that Oxcord Lord. That is dope, though. Yeah. I can't lie. No, facts. It's that guy, bro. Um, But yeah, I got that going. Uh, DJing thing. Okay. I mean, man, bro, hey, any UX design companies, you know what I'm saying, hire me. Okay. You feel me? Oh, yeah. Come and stay out of grad school, you know Hell what I mean? Yeah. So Hell it's yeah. like, Nah, for sure, man. And I, I love that you, you know, you, sh- you share, do you share your art? Do you use your, yeah, you got to use your social media to share your oh, art for sure. it's 24-7. Hell yeah. Uh, and that's the thing, you know, it's, it's the tough thing about sharing things on social media. Like, people will steal your ideas. That's true. People will rip your ideas mm-hmm. and act like, you but know, they can, it's not But your... they can't execute. Not everybody can. Uh, yeah, facts. Yeah. No, for sure. It's easy to dream, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I, I always like, because I was talking to the homie about this, like, he was talking about, how someone stole an idea of his, essentially, mm-hmm. or mimicked it and whatnot. And I was just like, I don't know. When I hear people talk about stuff like that, I'm just like, yo, like, at the end of the day, no one can really do what you do the way exactly. you do it. Facts. Whether it's yeah. good or bad, like, it's not going to be done the way you're doing it. So it's mm-hmm. like, just do it do it your way, you know what I mean, and, and make your mark. Like, mm-hmm. and A lot of people don't execute, bro. People talk about shit a lot of times, you oh, know, yeah, for sure. and they might peep what you're doing. But like, that's mm-hmm. why I, like, it doesn't matter. You said it last time on one of the shows where it was like, like if you're confident, if you're that confident in yourself, like you don't really care. Yeah, <laughs> you do not care much. who's yeah. doing what no, or how sure. they're doing it. You just like mm-hmm. I'm doing me, right? Definitely. I mean, like even with the tie dye tees, like I remember I went out to uh, it was a graduation party. Uh, one of the homies saw it, you know what I mean, and he kind of gave me like this weird like comment, like, "Oh, bro," like it was like kind of like, "Are oh, you with the whole like." gay pride thing or something oh gotcha uh, he's like what's up with all the colors i'm like bro like i'm just trying to bring more color to your life you feel me like you know like this yeah. is a, the world it can be dark and gloomy sometimes bro yeah for sure mm-hmm. and like it was to come up with summer like it was literally at the cusp like 
June 21st was the original day, but, you know, things always get pushed back. And it's just, like, my intention with the T-shirt was just, like, I want every T-shirt to not be identical. Every single T-shirt is one-on-one. There's not one that's the same. Wow. Yeah, and that was my whole intention. Like That's dope. Bro, that is dope. It took the life out of me. I'm not going to lie, bro. Like, yeah. It was, like, a straight week of me, like, every single night. I'm talking about I spent 12 hours a night FaceTime and calling, like, doing whatever I could, bro. Like, you can hear it in my voice now. Yeah, I'm yeah, tired. Yeah. I still am yeah. based off that. You know what I mean? But, like, I remember that feeling when I got those boxes. I, I literally picked up Aaron. Aaron was the first person I saw. Like, if I were to tell you how I was feeling that car ride, like, with that in the back of my car, like, yeah. it was worth it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was well yeah. worth it. That's dope. Mm-hmm. And I, sure. Yeah, no, that's a, that's a, I, I love the, uh, the one-on-one concept too no for sure and, mm-hmm. and just even the tie-dye like that's like i was telling you it's, that's what stuck out to me right mm-hmm. like i i didn't really like go and make assumptions like that one guy did like you told right. me but i was just like that's dope yeah know? and it's crazy because ovio just dropped the tie-dye collection if you guys saw that like i said yeah, you, you see that well, i promise you bro like <laughs> i'm talking about the same month of my birthday so it was like september interesting they had literally a tie-dye collection interesting i was like hmm come on drake i'm telling <laughs> you, come on, you gotta be careful hey <laughs> mad love for everyone i hope you yeah, know nah, what i nah, mean nah. but like i said you know you gotta <laughs> nah, be careful with your ideas yeah, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> not for sure for sure uh, but you know. got plenty more coming that's why yeah, 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 nah, nah. and we, i think we might have even been talking about it off camera but it's just like the whole thing of like trying to get that same energy from your first project yeah like it's like you know with the whole idea like what happened with nas and Nomadic. Like, mm-hmm. you know, a lot of people will talk about, oh, yeah, you never drop anything like Illmatic, bro. I'm like, yeah, because Illmatic's Illmatic. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You can't drop Illmatic twice unless I, it's, you know, still Matic. You know yeah. What I, mean? yeah. I, think, I think if you're not a creator, then you just don't really understand the concept of, like, just, like, you don't, you can't really be that attached to shit. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, if you really want to keep creating. No, for sure. Like, I, I, I like, I, no matter what it is, like, once you put it out, it's like, all right, cool. No, for it's sure. out mm-hmm. there. Like, I don't, mm-hmm. what more attachment do I have to have to it? Right? Yeah. So. Mm-hmm. That's exactly. Right. That's dope. Sure. So, what's the uh, social media handles? Where can everybody find you? Oh yeah, I got you. Uh, so my social media on uh, Instagram is gonna be Edelwetter E D L E W E T T E R. That's usually where I'm on. Like I try my best to like go on Snap nowadays, but mm-hmm. it's like, uh, who talked about? It? I think it was Gary V. So mm-hmm. like 80% of your marketing should be on Instagram. Yeah. And yeah. like that always stuck with me because I mean I was doing that before naturally just because I felt like. Instagram made the most sense, you know what I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, the homie Fresco always says something hella funny about that, though. He always be like, uh, Instagram's for dumb people, you know, because it's all pictures. I was just like, bro, you calling everybody in the world dumb, bro? Go on, dog. <laughs> social media, yeah, yeah. Some people need to re- revamp how they think about social media. Yeah, it's yeah, it's a tool. No, facts. Yeah. Hey, and mad love to my guy Fresco, bro, man. That guy, like, he's the one I made. That's crazy. He's the person I made the first T-shirt for. That's crazy. I didn't, Damn. didn't even plan that. Crazy. Shout out Fresco. <laughs> my guy that, too. That's yeah. my dog, bro. Yeah. One of the smoothest cats on the planet, yeah. bro. That's what's up. No, for sure. No, for sure. Hell for yeah. Sure. Hell yeah. yeah, bro. Okay, well, um, well, I always ask this question to the guests as well. I'm mm-hmm. um, kind of cap things off. It just kind of sums up everything we discussed as well as it'll cast what's ahead, which mm-hmm. obviously you got plenty coming. Um, so if you can, my brother, what's one word to describe what keeps you on the up and up? And you can kind of explain it if you like. Mm-hmm. I'll say excitement. Mm. Yeah, because, I mean, Edel stands for, you know, everyday life's excited. You know, and that whole concept is just, like, no matter what. You know, like, right now I'm so tired, bro. It's been such a long week. It's been such a long day. But, bro, that's opportunity. Mm-hmm. I didn't know how I was going to feel before the interview. I, like, got here. I felt some sort of way. But I was like, this is exciting. Mm. It's mm-hmm. opportunity, you know. And, like, another thing that uh, Robert Green, 50 Cent, Robert Green being one of my favorite authors, uh, he talked about being opportunist. Or opportunist. Mm-hmm. And it's like, it don't matter what the situation is, it's opportunity. And it's like, it's cutthroat. You know, people might feel some sort of way about it, but it's a fact. Mm-hmm. You know, either way, you could look at it like that or you could look at it like it's an L. Yeah. yeah. Which way are you going to choose? Mm. You know? I like that. Mm-hmm. For real. Excitement. Excitement. That's the first that's time we got a, excitement, That's the first too. time, yeah. I like that. And I, I like that, too, as far as the whole opportunist uh, mentality. Like, I think if your intention is pure and you are really going for something that matters and can help a lot of people, then sometimes you just got to be cutthroat, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because there's people being cutthroat to do some dumb shit, too. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know? So. Yeah. No, you got to get rich or die trying. Hey, you there, you yeah. there you go. There you go. I was bumping many men earlier this morning, too. Yeah. That's, that's how I started my day. That's how I'm... <laughs> Energy, bro. But <laughs> well, that intro, that intro is literally... I ain't got Come no problems with nobody, but that's, that's just a dope bro. song, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, 50 is one of my biggest inspirations for real. Yeah. Just seeing what he did, like, from everything, from, like, Get Rich or Die Trying, everything leading up to that. Like, yeah. I done studied the greats, bro. I yeah. was a 
freshman in high school at Evergreen, like, yeah. on Yahoo Answers. Hell yeah. What's the best rap album of 1993, 1994, Like, legit. I went to all the way until the year that it was, it was like, 2009, 2010. Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. So I had to do that because it's just like, just like, oh, you got to study yeah. the greats. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. why do greatest, I love? The greatest, yeah, yeah. The greatest, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, bro, that, that whole discussion of what's the greatest, <laughs> bro, it's going to take two hours. Nah, there's, this, a, there's some LeBron yeah. fans in here, so I like to oh, just, please, you know, I like to poke at them a little yeah. bit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> it's a different podcast. We ain't gonna yeah, do that. Yeah, right. We ain't gonna do that right now. Yeah, yeah. Hey, bro. Oh, man. You but, know, I'm, uh, I'm a LeBron fan though. No, you know yeah, yeah, for, for sure. sure, of course. I'm a Lakers oh, fan first. You know, so, exactly, you know, exactly. Yeah. That's the direction I was for about to record. go with. For the, the record, yeah, for the record. <laughs> Team LeBron, baby, strive oh, for greatness. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, man, to all of them, we definitely appreciate you, man, for coming up to the show. Oh man. Also, man, just for the work you're doing, right? The demonstration you're putting forth. Um, the brand you're building, we're excited to see where it goes and how it grows as well. You got you got support with uh, with us at all times, you know. Always, yeah, you already know that. Always, for, uh, from the bottom of my heart, I yeah, appreciate man. you. Yeah, man, for sure, for sure. Well, I guess it's safe to say, uh, Tawelda, Edelwetter, and the whole team are mm. officially members of the Up and Up. Can we get around? Yeah. Yes. My God. I appreciate y'all for for.